Hello and welcome back to Grandma Susie's Kitchen. I'm Grandma Susie. Today we're going to be making a beet cake. Beets are a very good source of potassium in the diet. We're going to use one can of beets that's been drained. We'll use three eggs, some cinnamon, baking powder, flour, baking spray to spray the pan. We're going to need some parchment paper. We'll need a baking pan. You can use a round pan or an oblong pan. We need a one cup measure, a spoon, and a mixing bowl. And we'll need a blender for blending up the beets. We'll need a half stick of butter. We'll need half and half or milk and six packets of stevia. You can use sugar, but it's better to avoid sugar if you can. Okay, let's get started. Open a can of beets with a can opener. Drain them into a saucepan. Put the drained beets into a blender. Screw on the lid. Put the beets in a blender and blend until it's smooth. Pour the beets into a mixing bowl. Add three eggs. Whisk until well blended. Melt a half stick of butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. To the beet mixture, add a cup of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and the melted butter, and combine. Add one half cup of milk, or half and half. And combine. Add six packets of stevia. cinnamon and combine. Line a pan with parchment paper. You can put a little butter or non-stick spray onto the pan. Pour the cake batter into the pan. Spread the mixture out evenly in the pan so it will cook evenly. Place the pan in a 350 degree oven. Set for 30 minutes. Once you take the cake out of the oven, just test it with a knife to make sure that it's done. If you stick the knife in and it comes out clean, it means that it's cooked thoroughly. While the cake is still warm, take some chocolate chips. Use the keto kind that are made with stevia instead of sugar. Spread it all over the cake and allow it to melt a little bit and spread it around. If the chocolate isn't melting fast enough on the cake, you can stick it back in the oven and melt the chocolate that way. Leave it in for two minutes. And we're going to cut it into sections. I think maybe eight pieces.
please join me again next time for Grandma Susie's Kitchen. Have a good day. Take care. God bless. Bye for now. It's very moist and has a flavor that's a lot like carrot cake.